Hi Capricorns, and well, I'm doing this during this Mercury combusting sun. It's a very specific thing. It's not going to happen uh, <laughs> very soon, to say the least. So I'm getting lots of information, lots of messages. So I decided to summarize this with Lenormand. Lenormand is so far kind of like buried in my readings, meaning you can request it, even though like what I'm doing here on the table, of course, in many, many more details, some people even charge 500 bucks for. And it's, it's an amazing tool. Some of my regular clients swear by it. So let's see Capricorn, what I see here for you. This is kind of rather going to be short and sweet. I have 12 signs I have to go into. So this is all basically unedited and kind of like a rough thing. But I just want to tell you what I'm seeing and transfer that messages. Yeah, guys, also lastly, while I'm laying down the cards, uh, don't forget to get my annual telescopes as I'll be doing them and editing them during this Mercury uh, spectacular transit and this portal which is kind of like going to give me additional ability to um, comprehend what is going on well I hope um, you'll see if you have ordered them in the past you will know what I'm talking about or oh, the bear and the snake that we have and the fox we have some characters here coming together and I really think these characters are damaging your health are you dealing with somebody who has a child are you dating somebody who has a child of some sort maybe you need to communicate certain things maybe somebody is putting some um, demands on you which look at this the lady is coming up in the last one over here I wonder why this is like looks like there are some issues that you still need to resolve I really don't like the cluster of these people it almost looks like um, maybe you are working at a job that you're not overly crazy about but it pays well and you're feeling like you know this is like good for my health health of my pocket health of my you know life but I think you're not liking some co-workers of some kind of like sort look at that like I mean I think also you love some co-workers like because the moon is falling and this is like a full moon guys this is like a clear direct message for you my goodness like go on the community pages of of my channel I just posted a newsletter which is generally only for my subscribers so if you're not subscribed please go on my website it's either on the bottom of the website or it's going to be a little pop-up or just check the community page and check my latest thing which I'm talking about is portal that just opened on the 11th 11th as well as this full moon in Taurus and they're kind of combined it's kind of like rather eerie what's happening you know the celestial combinations and everything this is like a keen of winning a lottery so what are the chances that like these numbers are overlapping anyways let's jump in Capricorn the gentleman is here the lady is over here we need to come closer right so where are you meeting you're meeting in the fox are you dealing with a person who is trying to introduce you or you're asking somebody to introduce you because look at this there is this love I really think uh, some of you have an eye on someone there is like an affinity over here toward this person the heart is in the house of the crossroads this can be something that you know can really take off but you're running in lots of issues over here you're running either in a co-workers or somebody kind of like cunning or you're getting some information that could be a little bit of a ruse right and it is kind of like really hard for you to figure certain things out you're just coming 
also this Mercury retrograde really affected you. You're just coming with a whole bunch of misfires and miscommunications, and maybe some of you have left a relationship recently, and now you're just trying to position yourself. Maybe you have even gotten back with your ex, or you're maybe even dealing with somebody who is, quote-unquote, uh, not necessarily just yours and yours only, right? Because the snake is in the house of a child. It could be also that you have issues with your children and also the snake is knighting a child. And it could be health issues that will not be uh, easy to diagnose. It will be not easy to figure out what to do. And it might cost you money. But it's going to end on a positive note from what I see over here. It's kind of weird if you're asking yourself, well, should I spend this money, should I spend this money? And I know it's so hard for me, like when I'm saying these things, it's because I know that not everybody uh, that is hearing me has medical service. I am so grateful that we have them in Canada because you never think money when you're sick. In fact, the only thing that comes between me, me and not getting a treatment is my laziness not to make an appointment, not to go and see a doctor. You see, this kind of like shows that if you go in this path, that something is going to start great and loving and maybe it's going to look like it's going to work out kind of a thing, right? Where almost like the man is running the show kind of a thing. Uh, or you're letting him, or if you're a man, like, I mean, keep that in mind, that you're being observed kind of a thing. But then you run into this negative energy, right? And fox is in the house of the fox. So that's where fox feels at home. It's kind of like, you know, you cannot order fox around in this particular place, right? And it's almost like a very central figure. This is also where you meet with this partner, right? Somebody very intelligent. Somebody could be really beautiful as well, kind of like quick-witted. Maybe an air sign, guys, but it's also some kind of like trap. Um, it can be like also that there's somebody very unconventional. And for you guys, unconventional, it is like bleh. Like, right, you are so conventional. And that's what they said, the air sign. Somebody's queen, like, kind of taking you for a spin, right? So keep in mind is like being sly like a fox, right? Can be both good and bad, depending on if you're the fox or not. This could be you guys. Maybe, you know, you are going to be accused that you're of a dubious character, that you are kind of like taking somebody by the nose and, hey, you know, running them around, right? So it can be kind of like warning about new situation. We also have the fox in this garden over there, right? So, you know, some kind of like disruptive people. These disruptive people need to go. You're kind of like having a hard time understanding who wishes you well and who doesn't. And that is a problem. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you're going to be placed on the spot by somebody at work. And also we have fox and a bear, right? So it could be a boss or something that you're dealing with. Okay, guys, because the moon is in the house of the heart, right? And the heart is in the crossroads. Are you screwing your boss? I mean, let's kind of go out in the open. It could be that possibility. Because it's going to get messy because it looks like there are other people who do not like it and who kind of like pick up on it. Be very, very careful. Um, I don't know, like, I mean, some of you might have additional source of income or residual income or might even have, I don't know, some royalties or even open your own business, but that's going to have a hard start. And some of you might consider relocation big times, especially if there is somebody from the past showing up. But this whole entire situation that you need to wrap up in uh, 2019 for 2020 to push forward over here is almost like who stays and who doesn't stay. It's almost like going through your really, you know, phone book and go delete, delete, delete. We do spring cleaning, but did you do phone cleaning? Because it's going to start feeling lighter. Because we keep accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. 
And it's like not really about the people who are really residing in a memory card of our phone. It is rather the vibrational energy that you are almost like cutting the cord. So the glass that is like now half full instead of full, you can fill in with additional stuff and you can bring that prosperity because you have the clover here in the house of the bear that's a good news and it's also knighting the bear so it's final as I told you you're resolving the issues but you have to deal with somebody who is almost freaking childish I would say um, when you set this new course when you're going there you will hit the mountain so which means it's not going to be smooth sailing but nonetheless it is telling you to persist to continue things will get rough but things will get mo moving especially if you're moving especially if you're relocating this also can mean a new job some of you might start your business and it's going to feel like it's not doing well you might get a job and then it's going to feel, oh my gosh, I hate it. Uh, after being self-employed, I'm dealing and I'm working for this idiot. And maybe that's why you kind of like immediately thinking, oh, boss is sexy kind of stuff. Because you're not thinking in a regular way. And this is basically what I'm saying. It's weird. Capricorns are not like that generally. So it's going to be a little bit of that being <sighs> air brain kind of a thing, airheads. Um, or somebody's an airhead that needs to go. But you need to find a source of energy inside of you. You have the sun, heart, and a key over here. This is so freaking fantastically, like, I mean, good. When you find something, like, I mean, keep it. Like, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth going in that direction. So Capricorn, I'm looking forward to your comments. Would love to hear from you. Of course, it's going to be one more reading this year. And I'm right now working on annuals for 2020. It's a new decade. It's the new gateway opening. For you, it's going to be really important. Like, I mean, it looks like you are marrying, uh, you know, your work and love. And like you're getting both. So... Hopefully, I'm talking to you soon, and until the next time, you know that I love you. All the best.